tonight an alarming development in the border crisis. Among the record number of migrants crossing the southern border was a member of an Afghan terror organization who was released into the U.S. by border agents, according to U.S. officials. 48-year-old Mohammed Harwin illegally crossed into California in March of last year. His name is on a U.S. terror watch list, identifying him as a member of HIG, a terror group that's killed Americans in Afghanistan. Border agents suspected he was on the watch list at the time of his apprehension, but lacked corroborating information, according to U.S. officials. CBP released him without contacting the FBI or Immigration and Customs Enforcement, those officials told us. Harwin was allowed to apply for work authorization and board planes in the U.S., according to those officials. After almost a year, ICE arrested him here in San Antonio. But when he went to court, U.S. officials tell us, ICE officials withheld classified information about his terrorism ties. A judge ordered him released on $12,000 bond, which he posted and was freed last month. Harwin's case appears to be just one of at least three incidents in the past two years involving suspected terrorists being released by Customs and Border Protection, according to the DHS Inspector General and Congress. It comes as President Biden faces fierce criticism of his handling of the border crisis, including from former President Trump. Many terrorists, many drug dealers at the highest level, they're all coming into our country. The percentage of people on the terror watch list apprehended at U.S. borders is a small fraction of all migrants encountered. Point 0.02% under President Biden, 0.05% during the Trump administration. Any terrorist or terrorist-linked individual trying to come into this country is unacceptable. We pressed a former top ICE official in the Biden administration about how a member of a terror group could be released into the U.S. by DHS. This is very, very rare. Um, there's a, a large capacity and capability for both Border Patrol, ICE, federal law enforcement and the interagency to identify, vet these individuals as they come to the border. But there are fears about tens of thousands of migrants now evading agents as they cross the southern border. The Border Patrol chief recently calling it a national security threat. And the FBI director warning about smugglers with ties to ISIS. There is a particular network um, that uh, has uh, where some of the overseas facilitators of the smuggling network have ISIS ties. Uh, that we're very concerned about. Julia, the Department of Homeland Security has just responded to us about this case. Lester, they say they can't comment on ongoing matters, but are taking all necessary steps to ensure public safety. They say if someone has entered the country and is later found to be associated with a potential national security concern, they will, quote, take appropriate action. Tonight, Harwin remains undetained, potentially somewhere in the U.S. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.